one good evening today we are back with yet another question for uh you know your isi entrance exam which are just there in may so let's have a look at this question the sum of odd integers from 1 to 2001 is this is a pretty simple question let us try to see how we will go ahead and solve this question so i want to go ahead and i want to find this sum from 1 uh till 2001 so my first term that I have is 1 and my difference that I have here, this is D, is 2. And my last term that I have here, L, is 2001. Now we know that if we have a series, which is, in, which is my arithmetic progression, like in this case, then I can go ahead and I can give the sum Sn as n by 2 a plus l where a is the first term and l is the last term. So we need to go ahead and we need to put the first term here, last term here and I should be able to get the sum. But what most students get confused is ma'am what will be the value of n some students will just say it will be 2001 minus 1 so there are 2000 terms but they're only taking the odd terms so they will divide it by 2 so they will get 1000 some will put n as 1000 some will put n as 1001 some will put n as 999 so this is always confusing for students as to what is the value of n that we should be putting in order to go ahead and solve for the value of n, the best thing to do is to look at the formula of finding the nth term. So to find any nth term of my AP, the formula is A plus n minus 1 into D. So the la so here the, the nth term is 2001. So I will go ahead and put 2001. The first term is 1. So I will put 1 plus n minus 1. I don't know what n is, so I will keep n as it is. And the difference is 2. So I will go ahead and I will just bring 1 on this side. So 2000 is equal to n minus 1 into 2. So n minus 1 will be 1000. So your <coughs> n will be 1001, right? So n will be 1001. So now you can just put this n here. So I will put 1001 divided by 2 into first term plus last term. So I will get 1001 into 1001 and that will give me 1001 whole square which will be 1002001. So we have achieved that the right answer to this question is A. Okay. So uh, try to practice some more question on APGP. Sometimes it may come in exam. So you should be thorough with this concept also. Okay, thank you. We will meet in the next lecture again. Till then, keep practicing.